today I'm gonna to show you how to make this gorgeous ice cream cone. So you're gonna need a styrofoam cone. You can get these at most craft stores. I believe this one was six inches. And then what you're gonna do is take some fast and final lightweight spackle and you are going to spread it over the cone because the cones are very porous. They have lots of holes all over them and you need a smooth surface. Next, I'm just taking some acrylic paint. You can use whatever ones you want. These are from Michaels. They're, the Rosemary is one of my most favorite colors to make a light pink. Next, you're gonna take some Mod Podge and cover the whole cone with it, and then you are going to add some glitter. This glitter is from Hobby Lobby. It's called Pink Icing. It's one of my favorites. It has this really beautiful chunkiness to it, and it has some fine glitter in it too. After the glitter dries, you're going to need to seal it with some Mod Podge. Next, I'm taking some more lightweight spackle and I'm mixing it with one of my other favorite colors, which is Key West by Apple Barrel. You can get it at Walmart. Now I'm just gonna use a hot knife and I'm going to put, it's like a piece of styrofoam that I used from another project. This is why I save all my little pieces. And I'm gonna use it as a stabilizer for the center of the ice cream. You could really use anything. You could just build up some spackle in the middle. You could use another piece of styrofoam, a styrofoam ball, whatever you want to do. I just happen to have this top of this ice cream. And so that's what I used to use as my stabilizer to build the frosting on. So you can see I've already put some frosting on there, fake frosting, I mean, and um, that's because sometimes spackle doesn't want to stick to anything. And so putting down a layer before doing this will allow it to stick. And then I'm just doing a, a tall wave motion with a 1M tip. Now after each layer, what I always do is take a damp, clean paintbrush and I just tap down any imperfections, divots, holes, because I do want this to look smooth and perfect. And now I'm adding a second layer. And before I do that, I'm adding like a center stabilizer again, just something to build that fake frosting on. So now I'm just adding the second layer. And again, I'm doing a very tall wave motion. And here I feel like the spackle isn't sitting exactly how I want it, so I'm just tapping it to budge it over. And again, I'm going to go over it with a clean, wet paintbrush and fix any imperfections. So here I'm doing the third stabilizer and then I will do the third set of waves. And then on the top, I added one extra swirl. Here I felt that there was, it was a little bit unbalanced, so I added an extra couple of waves and they blended right in. Now 
Next, I'm adding a glittered cherry. I do have a tutorial for those. It's very simple. You just paint it and glitter it. It's just a fake cherry. Now I've made my own puffy paint drip sauce. I do have a tutorial for that. And you can find it in my Fake Bake Basics playlist. I like it because then you can make any kind of drip sauce match exactly. And I just go around and I add random drips and I fill in any gaps on the bottom. And you can see here that the gravity pulled down those drips and that's totally fine, but you just need to be aware of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some fine glitter. This is called Glitz and it's from Michaels. Next, I'm going to use some fake sprinkles. These are from Play Code 3, and I'm going to be using a few from Glitz and Glue from the Unicorn Mix. And I'm just using tacky glue and a Q-tip to apply that, and just randomly putting on different jewels and fake peppermints and fake pearls. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe, it means the world to me. And of course, please share my work so that others can find my channels. Thank you, I'll see you next week for a new tutorial.